So if like my towel was to touch the floor, I hated when anything that I owned touched those floors. Like. <laughs> My name is Chelsea K. Wright and welcome back to my channel, a place where I give college students and young adults tips and tricks on how to find their passion, build their brand and get that bread. And in this video, I'm, I'm continuing my freshman series and I'm going to be giving five essentials or five tips on how to survive college bathrooms. Yes, those community bathrooms, I'm going to tell you how to survive them and what you can do to make sure that you have a, a smooth experience. So, stay tuned. Okay, so I attend Kettering University and we're not a huge college, thankfully. I, I, I had an interesting experience, I'd say, with the, or bathrooms or community bathrooms. Or it was just like a straight hall with probably about 15 to 20 girls and there were two bathrooms at the end of um, our halls. So one um, at the right side when you first enter the uh, hall and then one at the, the opposite side, the left side when you are exiting the hall we had like six showers in the bathroom and then we had about six like different stalls um and about four sinks four no no about five or six sinks so that's kind of like what i had to deal with my freshman year um of college so keep that in mind when you're listening um for the tips so the first thing that you need to survive college bathrooms is shower caddy okay a shower caddy that is drainable um that's mesh preferably mesh um that has holes if it's a hard plastic case and one that is one that can be hung on like a hook okay listen all right so you need this is because you're gonna need something to put your your towel your toothpaste your toothbrush your soap you're gonna need something to hold all of that in um and you're not gonna be wanting to lug around all of that in your hand and you definitely do not want to be like just placing it random places in the bathroom because if you're like me and you're picky then you know that's just that just makes your skin crawl um so yeah i got a my uncle actually got me my first shower caddy um and that's what i've been using and i still use it to this day so the reason why you want to get a mesh shower caddy and i'll have like some links down below yeah the reason why you want to get a mesh shower caddy um instead of like one of those hard plastic ones is because you don't want to put it on the ground you don't want to put it on like the bathroom floor i hated when anything that i owned touched those floors like I don't know if it was just me or I was just kind of a germaphobe, but I, I just hated it. So I I just stuffed everything into my foldable cloth mesh um, shower caddy and I just hung it um, on the shower hook outside of my shower that I was using. So it didn't need to touch the floor and it could be hung and I could just reach out and grab everything that I needed. So if like my towel was to touch the floor, I would have a heart attack. So yeah, a reason and another reason why you want to make sure that your um, shower caddy is like mesh is because water, the stuff that you're using are more than likely gonna be wet sometimes and for proper drainage and uh, to make sure that it's clean and stays sanitary you don't want it to be like waterlogged um that can be annoying because you have to like literally empty the caddy out and then like drain it off and then put the stuff back and it's just a lot so to make sure that things go smoothly and it keeps clean the longest you can just have like a mesh shower caddy and then the wet stuff that you put inside will just be drained off Another thing that you need to survive college bathrooms is flip-flops. 
I never once walked into that bathroom or anywhere on campus without shoes. Um, I wore my flip flops in the shower, everywhere. Um, and I had like a designated pair of flip flops that I would only wear to the bathroom and into the shower. Um, it really saved me a lot of anxiety and stress worrying about, you know, if they clean the showers or what I would probably catch in those showers if I was to not have flip flops on, you know, so to save yourself the stress um, and worry, you know, about if someone was being sanitary in the showers or not, I swear flip flops, they saved me um, a lot of worry and anxiety and they probably saved my, my feet as well because I did not get fungus or anything like that um, on my feet from being in the showers and uh, they're cheap <laughs> they're waterproof um and i just got the regular rubber kind or the sponge kind and i still have them to this day and i still use them when i need to make that trick if i'm ever living on the dorms again so that was something that saved me and invest in a pair of flip-flops you literally can get them at old navy for a dollar or two dollars so invest in a pair of flip-flops when you're going to the bathrooms because you don't know what's on those bathroom floors and you don't want to find out and your feet doesn't want to find out either another thing that saved me um freshman year in the the bathrooms in the dorms was flushable wipes flushable wipes and toilet seat covers I'm a huge germaphobe, as you can probably tell and see from how I've been talking. Um, and just having the flushable wipes um, helped me a lot because I could wipe the toilet seats off and then maybe put the toilet seat covers over the, the, the toilets before like actually sitting on them if I chose to sit on them. And that would just make it more comfortable for me, you know? um i wouldn't have to squat and work my thighs because i didn't feel like working my thighs all the time i wouldn't have to worry about cleaning or if the toilets were being clean because i literally could just clean up um whichever toilet i was going to use and then put the toilet seat cover over it and then use the bathroom guilt free well not guilt free but you know anxiety and stress free germ free so get toilet seat covers or flushable wipes and as usual everything will be linked down below for you to see those really saved me a lot of time and effort in freshman year another way i survived college bathrooms in freshman year was using a robe okay hear me out uh a robe yes a robe saved me a lot of times it allowed me a lot of flexibility when i was going to shower so this is actually my robe and this is my robe it's kind of like furry it's warm um and i usually have my robe on i'm usually naked underneath and um, this is what i leave my dorm room with when i'm going to the bathroom so i'll strip naked then have my robe on then i'll have my towel in my hand and then my shower caddy and that's how I go to the bathroom with my flip-flops on, of course. Um, so yeah, it it kind of saved me a lot of like space because I didn't have to carry so much stuff back from the bathroom. And I it kind of kind of covered me a bit more, so to speak, because I would have to go to the bathroom either with my clothes on and then strip down fully and then have my clothes touch that floor or I would have to just leave my room with a towel and I don't know I, I just did not like leaving my room to make that long walk to the bathroom with only my towel on like anything could happen so this robe you know was comfy um, and it was just something quick I could just put on even hopping out of bed if I didn't have um, you know on a lot of clothes and there was a, a visitor at my door. I could just pop on this door, this this robe, and see who was at the door and stuff. So I would say, guys, invest in a robe. It's pretty cool, um, and it saves like a lot of time, and it really covers you up when you're going to the bathroom, especially while using community bathrooms. 
in dorms. The last thing I would say that helped me to survive college bathrooms um, in my freshman year was definitely having a portable speaker or a portable waterproof speaker case. So um, I have a JBL, small JBL that had like a string and what I do is just hang it on one of the hooks in the bathroom and I just take my shower and just jam out and not care about the rest of the world. Um, so that was just something else that that made it more tolerable, I guess. It was a I like listening to music period and then listening to the music while just vibing in the show was always a thing for me. So um, the speaker wasn't too loud and I could just hang it on one of the hooks. Really made you know made a difference. It made my day. Do not <laughs> bring your phone into the bathroom or like into the shower that's a horrible mistake and it's it's just like i would just not recommend and that's what i used to do before i got a speaker and one of the times my phone fell and the screen cracked so yeah don't don't do that okay do not do that so get you a speaker get you a a small portable or waterproof speaker that you can hang um just hang it in the shower or, or outside the shower with your shower caddy and that will make the difference if you like listening to music like I did. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this really helped you because I really wish someone had told me all of these things before I started college. It would have saved me, you know, a lot of figuring out and a lot of time. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here and stay tuned for more college related videos and you should see a video pop up here, here, somewhere um, by now. So feel free to check that out as well. Until next time, peace.